Hello everyone, welcome to another video. I seem to be on a roll with this stuff, so might as well continue it. 1920, today, the 19th Amendment was proclaimed, which I believe is the one that allows women the right to vote. I thought that was important enough to worth mentioning in my thing, so yeah, I don't know. It reminds me of when I was younger, I used to think that I was born in the wrong time. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people do, but I was pretty adamant about it for a while. I was so, I don't know, romanticized by the thought of living in 1860 and like the Civil War and all these like great things in the past or the revolution and being involved in that. And then I realized, you know, being me in the past as a woman would kind of suck because women didn't have that many rights. And if you know me at all, I would probably have ended up as one of those crazy bitches who kill themselves. So I'm very thankful to have been born in 1988. Tomorrow is my mom's birthday. Um, we made her a very special dinner tonight, which she liked. Yay! Um, it was basically like curry, lentils, and green beans with chicken and rice. And I got mango juice. And I made dessert, which we haven't eaten yet, but it's really good. And I'm looking forward to that. Um, also, got her presents for her birthday. Shh, don't tell her what I'm about to show you. Detergentless soap for during the winter when your hands are chapped and you don't want to put harsh stuff on them. Blackberry honey soap. Which smells good. Peppermint soap. Lemon soap. Also, since I was at the mall getting her presents, I went into Barnes & Noble <laughs> because I need more books, right? Anyway, I went to the bargain book section and I found this book here. It is called Letters to a Young Poet. Um, now this is going to sound really strange and stupid, but when I opened the book, I read like one sentence and just something about the way it was worded. All of a sudden I got this sort of like rush of significance or emotion or something and I thought wow you know this it just felt like this book had something to do with something going on in my life and that it would be important to me somehow so I thought I would risk you know seven dollars on it and I'm gonna read it and hopefully it lives up to the expectations which I now have um, we'll see I also went to Blockbuster to get movies to help alleviate my boredom. I got Lawrence of Arabia because we never got to go to the Times Theater to see it the other day and yeah, I want to watch it. I also have here Milwaukee, Minnesota. I saw it on the rack and I couldn't help myself. Look at him. He's on a toboggan. Also, the back cover states that if Fargo had a little brother, this would be it. <laughs> How can you not rent a movie that says that? Especially when you're from the Midwest. Yay, Wisconsin slash Minnesota. Also, just to let you all know, Burt's Bees, Coconut Cream, Foot Stuff, amazing. During the summer, I never wear socks slash wear sandals all the time, and we have a gravel driveway, so my feet are really dry, and that stuff is the best. So, buy it. You know, not because I work for them or anything. Also, I feel like I'm getting carpal tunnel in my right hand. Um, and it's not because I spend that much time on the computer. I guess it's really just because everything I do involves my fingers moving a lot. Because when I'm not on the computer typing, then I'm like, I don't know, playing an instrument and I play piano, you know, and guitar, and finger picking all the time, or like, you know, stuff like that, I guess. Um, or I'm writing, or I'm knitting, or I'm cooking. Fingers! I think they want to kill me by now, it's like I use you too much. At any rate, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. So, have a good night!